What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back, and we got a ton more insulation for the van. It's like been 90 and 100 degrees out where I live, so it's been getting really, really hot in the van. So I'm like, spray insulation's done its job so far. It's been good, but I actually found this stuff online. It's a 3M insulation and it comes pre-cut perfectly to the slots. So I've already got some installed and I'm slowly going through it, but dude, it is so freaking nice. It literally comes perfectly cut for the Ford Transit and it all comes labeled. That way you know it's passenger low, passenger low, you got your DM2 for your driver's side, middle, so you have low, middle, high, and everything comes perfectly labeled. Comes in two big boxes, or at least for the Ford Transit, everything comes perfectly labeled. So you have your passenger up four, your middles, your driver middles, this big middle piece goes right there climb up in here show you what I got so far so this would actually work better if I didn't have the spray insulation you could probably do two you could do two of these or even three thick of these and like literally it comes pre-cut to where it fits around these little slots for the van already comes pre-cut everything is perfectly labeled they send you, turn this light on a little bit, might help a little bit, but they send you this so you know exactly where each piece is supposed to go, which is really, really nice. So we ended up taking this out because we had this piece in there, and that piece is already done, fits perfectly, absolutely perfect. And then up here, since we have the spray insulation, it's one big piece that goes from here all the way to there. So since that's pretty well covered, we have spots like this to where the spray insulation's already taken its spot. So I'm going to use this since it's already pre-cut. And once I'm done with everything that's a perfect fit with the spray insulation and I have my extras, then I'm going to go in and make a cut or just throw it or just throw it up in there like so and just make it fit or I might cut it and then put it in there we'll have to see but for now that's my extra pile at the very moment and then I also got this stuff too this stuff actually for what it is in the door it worked really really well I was taking I got my temp gun out here I got my temp gun out here that I've been taking temperature readings on since I've been doing this just to see where all my hot spots are in the van and what needs better insulation. Surprisingly, this rough stuff, it's actually doing pretty good for how thin it is. It's uh, keeping it about 20 to 30 degrees cooler. Just that insulation on the roofs keeping it about 20 to 30 degrees cooler than the spots that aren't covered yet. Still got to order some more stuff for it. But it's coming along nicely. I just want to show you guys what I've been working with since I haven't made a van video. Figured I'd throw this in and I got some other stuff I'm going to do while I'm doing a van video. But this stuff, yo, it's super thick and the ratings on these things are really good. Uh, I'll try to remember to put a link down below where I got this stuff. That way you guys can look at all the, the ratings and stuff on these. When it comes to van insulation, this is honestly the number one stuff that I found uh that people are using they'll do two or three of these they'll buy two or three of these and it's still cheaper than the spray foam stuff so a lot of people do this over what i did but the spray foam actually works really really well and it's super quiet in here which i really love because when we're camping out in places and public places and stuff and it's kind of loud that spray insulation works and plus it gets in a lot more cracks and crevices that you know this may not get in so I'm happy with it my garage is an absolute mess at the moment there's so many pieces dude 
I couldn't believe how big this kit truly is and how like nice and well put it is. How packaged it came, dude. It came in perfectly packaged and boxed up, but there's those pre-cuts that they do. And it's hassle-free. The hardest part is getting those panels off in there and putting the putting these up, but it's nice because those panels will hold it in. Uh, once it's up, the panels will hold it in, so I don't have to glue it in. I'm not going to spray adhesive or anything in. It's literally just going to sit behind the panels, and we're good. It's coming along nicely, that's for sure. So we ended up putting tape on it, that way it holds it up, keeps it in place for us. Pretty easy install, we got one long piece down there and then three pieces of tape along the top just to hold it in. And does really, really good. Still gotta do up here, but so far looking way, way better and definitely gonna help with the insulation for sure. All right, so we're working on the back side here and these things are actually super easy to take off. There's, if you pull, start at this corner first, you literally just pull this back a little bit and there's a plastic tab there, you just pop it straight off. Literally looks like this. So you just use a tool to get in there and then use, use this tool, use this tool to start and then use this. I actually taped it so it doesn't scratch the paint on the door just tape it up you can even come up a little farther if you want but tape it and you just get in there pop it off read your tool in and just pop it off you work your way around the edges and one two three four five six seven eight and there's one in the middle it's a nine and actually this one there it is This one's already done. This is two layers of insulation in here. So with this kit, there's one that goes here, but since we have a window, we have an extra piece. So we actually just stuffed it in here and it worked out phenomenal because this didn't have any insulation whatsoever. So we were getting, we were losing a lot of air and a lot of heat out of this because there was zero insulation in this thing. So now we got two layers of insulation, which is going to help a ton also. So this is the next day, and I can already tell a big difference with just having the walls done. Uh, it's 92 degrees out today, and I can already tell a big, big difference. This piece of insulation actually goes in the bottom over there. We already done that ourselves, and we tested it yesterday. It was super hot yesterday. And we checked the temperature of that yesterday. We're not even going to mess with that. We're actually going to use this big piece of insulation and stick it right up above there. There's these three points that are marked. One, two, and three. Same thing. Stick your tool down in there. Pop, pop, and pop down. This will come down just a little bit to where you can stick your insulation in there. I've already took this kill mat stuff and insulated, I don't know if you can see it in there or not. Oh yeah, you kinda can. And I've already insulated that area with that kill mat stuff. The whole inside of that, I was able to reach in there with my arms and stick it to the roof. So it's already done with the kill mat stuff, but I got this ginormous piece here that is going to go up there and that thing's going to fit perfectly up there so I'm about to pop this back on now and literally all you do to pop it back on I'm already done so let's see if I can do this one handed or not there you go use my hand with the phone and just here, snap in, 
and that's it. And that's it. Just pop it back in, go all the way around. So, yeah. Finish that, make sure they're all in, and we're good, and that's it. Literally super easy. Those are much easier than this, but highly recommend getting these tools. Because if you don't have these tools, it's going to take you a couple hours longer to get these panels off. The first time, it took us forever to take these things off whenever we sent it off to get the spray foam. This time with the tools, much, much easier. But that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to do that up there and it's literally just sliding that piece in. I'm not even going to add that in the video. Everywhere else is done. So, I think that's it, guys. You got to go check out these, by the way. There's the company, Van Camp. Absolutely love them. So you got there, there, and up here. Absolutely love them. Like, the front ones, I, barely, I just threw them in just to block out some of the sun. You can see a little bit of light through them. But whenever they're actually set up good, you don't see any light through these things. There's a little tiny sliver of light that will come through here when it's uh, set in. But I actually like that because then it lets us know what day it is. If it's daytime or nighttime. Because those back there, zero light. When the driver and passenger are in, zero light. So I'm glad there's a little bit of light that comes through the front. That way we know it's daytime. It's time to get up and rock and roll. Go check out Van Camp, guys. I absolutely love their product. And again, with this 3M insulation, definitely get that for your van. I can already tell a huge difference, and it's literally just the walls that are done, and then now the back doors. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.